All right, this is the illusionist deck from uh, Magician Illusionist, Kevin Blake. I have to say I don't really know much about him, other than he's a magician. And this is available on his website. Link will be in the description. I want to say it's KevinBlakeMagic.com, but don't. But I don't know for sure. <laughs> Off the top of my head, it will be in the description. And you can get this here. It is USB-C printed with a nice tuck case that uh, is by Clove Street Press. And as you can see, as embossed in foil in black and gold. This manufacturer in USA, illusionist Kevin Blake. Playing cards, first edition with some pips. And it's a nice kind of a matte stock. And it says, there we go, KevinBlakeMagic.com on the side, there's his website. Check it out, you can get this there. High quality playing cards on the other. Illusionist Kevin Blake playing cards on top. Magic is real on the bottom. And in the back, some artwork. The paper airplanes you see depicted here represent his opening act. So I think that's pretty cool. And there's a vintage style stamp seal with Kevin Blake and picture of him on there. Nothing on the flaps and the inside as well. But there's the nice tuckies. Couple of cards with quotes on them. This is by Mervyn Peak. I don't know. Oops. You can pause and read it if you want. There's a bat design. It's not quite what you see on the back of the tuck case. The paper airplanes are actually replaced with spade pips. But it's a very nice, ornate kind of design. If you like it. You do get another card that has what looks like a phone number on the bottom of it. And another quote. Don't know. If you know what that's about, let me know. But you can pause it and read it if you like. All right. In the back, of course, is the back design. The Jokers, say Joker, KevinBlakeMagic.com, with him doing some card history. One in black, one in red. Was your card an ace? <laughs> the Ace of Spades, very nice and ornate. Nice pip, with an eye. That's Kevin Blake, playing cards, United States Point Card Company. All the cards have this additional uh, index in the opposite corners, which is great for like, you know, reading the index, seeing the index, playing cards or whatever, so that's cool. Everything else is fairly straightforward, standard number cards and code cards. I didn't see anything unusual or customized about them, although there is a border around them. And the index definitely feels like a, uh, a, um, I forget what it's called now, but it's a smaller index than usual. Squeezers, like a squeezers index is what it is, in my opinion. So that's cool. That makes it so that you can hold a bunch of cards in your hand, and you can still read the indexes, as opposed to the bigger index you usually get. So pretty interesting deck, pretty nice. I say to spades. I said, point it by the USB-C. With an Ericus and Finis. And a nice stock. He didn't specify the stock or Finis. But yeah. I like it. I will give it an A. I do like this one. Check out KevinPlakeMagic.com. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll have to check out some of his stuff at some point in time. And that is that. Like it's spread. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.